Hi, welcome back. Uh, my name's Scott. I haven't been here for a little while. I just got a brand new uh, Nova Viking drill press in. And I got it put together, which took all of about 10 minutes. Um, it comes in the box pretty much assembled. You have, to, you have to put the base on and you have to put the table on. Other than that, it's all assembled. It's got a pretty beefy base. I got it bolted right down to my one inch pine boards here. The chuck did come with it. Uh, this gets installed just with like a, a rubber mallet. And then we go up through it. Uh, we got the emergency stop. Power button's over here on the side. I should tell you that it's a six inch, 16 inch swing drill press. The motor's up top. This does have a DVR motor just like the Nova lathes. So uh, you don't need any belts. You don't have to adjust any belts. Uh, you can simply change your RPM right here on the dial. And like I said, this goes from 150 RPM all the way up to 5,000 RPM. We have different settings here. We have a depth setting. We have a self-start setting. We have a reverse. We have a light, which is a LED light and a laser. And then you can have either just the light or just the laser. On an off switch, this controls RPM and also toggles for your, your uh, depth setting and stuff like that. This is the zero set button and also the confirm command button. And this is display and cancel. You change different things on the display. Obviously, we've got the emergency shut off, which is in a real good place. So what I have set up here um, is a pen blank. I did go out and get a, uh, a little vise uh, just to hold pieces of wood on here. If you're doing something bigger, you can just use uh, carpenter's clamps. Uh, so we got a pen blank here. I'm going to zero this out. Actually, I'm going to bring it down to the piece of wood and zero it out. And what I want to do with this is, is make a two inch uh, hole. So I'm going to go set the depth and I'm going to adjust this up to two inches, which is how big my brass insert is for the pen. And then I'm going to hit confirm. And I'm going to put on self start. And when I bring this down, this will automatically start and it's not going to start measuring until we get to the piece of wood. Right at the piece of wood we're going to be at zero. And then we'll start cutting down in. See, as we get closer, it'll start beeping at you and telling you that you're getting close. And you can see we're getting close here. And when we're at our mark, it automatically goes to reverse and backs itself up. Pretty crazy. Alright, so it does come with a USB cable. Uh, and there's a USB port right up here for firmware upgrades. And then, the table loosens on the quill back here. Let's release that, and it'll spin both ways. And then the table releases on its mount right here. So you can kind of go anywhere with the table, however you want. I've taken the uh, vise off, so now I'm gonna. And the table will also tilt 45 degrees in either either way. All right, I just want to do a little Forstner bit just so you can see how uh, it matches torque when there's a little pressure on it. see as that portion goes in there and starts to put some serious torque on the motor it just matches it and goes right back to 500 rpms and that's not my sharpest Forstner bit either and off so all in all here um, we got a very nice um, drill press motor conveniently uh, located on the top we don't have any belts to mess with um, we got our speed control here don't have to mess with the depth control. It's automatic, self-start. Uh, it takes up very little space. You can see I got it mounted next to the bench next to my small lathe. Um, and it's really a nice little compact unit. With plenty of power and all the bells and whistles for sure. You won't be disappointed. For more information about it, go to technitool.com. Uh, my name's Scott. I thank you for watching and have a nice day.